My name's Nadine, and this is just a bit of information about my journey with Thrive. So I started Thrive about two years ago now. Um, my sister actually advised that I go for it because she's seen that we had a lot of similar um, mental traits that were holding us both back in our lives. Basically, um, I had very low self-esteem, which meant that I kind of had really bad body dysmorphia and um, which held me back a lot during my teenage years slash early 20s um, and also I had depression as well so um, those two things kind of fed into each other and I spent a lot of time in bed um, and really felt like I was useless and wasn't achieving any of my goals. Um, so my sister had done the program previously and she was telling me basically to go for it because she felt like it, it had really helped her and it had gotten her out of a mental hole so that she felt like it would be really useful for me as well. Um, I kind of brushed it off for a while because I'd been to therapy twice and I really didn't get anything out of either of those sessions. Um, with those two different therapists, um, I just found like that each time I came out of the, the counselling sessions I it wasn't really fixing any of my problems Um, I still felt crap in myself and I still um was was coming out with depression um with, with the same problems that I'd gone into the sessions with um so I the main reason I decided to go for it was because I was starting my master's um and I kind of was just talking down to myself all the time being like oh like you didn't do that well the first time you were in college you didn't really get out of bed that much so you probably will do bad in your masters um so those kind of thoughts kept circling around my head and i decided okay i'll go for it i loved the way it dealt with a load of different issues not just the kind of the ones that you felt that you had like it didn't just deal with depression it dealt with social anxiety as well and anxiety um because even though they weren't my main issues, I felt like the low self-esteem was making me kind of bad in social situations as well. Um, so everything was feeding into each other. Um, the main reason why I found it really helpful and way more helpful than the therapies that I had done before was because it was basically more of a psychological journey um, rather than the previous therapies I've been like looking into my past and trying to find what had happened in my childhood maybe that left me with um depression and low self-esteem whereas I felt like I had a really happy childhood there wasn't really any trauma there that had that had led to that it was really just my kind of the way I was thinking and how I constantly was talking down to myself so it was more of like of a psychological thing um that needed to be worked on rather than like delving into the past and going back into things um which really i felt like kind of makes things worse rather than actually helping them um so i found it really really helpful to um look at my own helpful thinking styles because i just kept you know um thinking very negatively thinking black and white um and it that was basically what was like feeding my depression and obviously my body dysmorphia Um, i felt that barry was um amazing i just never let myself get into a hole i never let myself get depressed Um, because of seeing barry i have been able to just just deal with it and um really really work on my thoughts and make sure that I'm not going to get myself into a mental hole again um, and also the main thing that he helped me with was dealing with my low self-esteem and dealing with the fact that I thought I was going to fail my masters Um, at the end of the course Barry said to me ring me in a year's time and tell me that you've gotten a first in your masters because I had told him that was my main goal out of the whole thing was to get a first um, because I really really wanted to prove to myself that I could do do that because I I obviously didn't do that well the first time in college and um, so when we were chatting there he asked me how I got on my master's and I said I got in first that I'd come first in my class so um yeah without having done the Thrive program would I go and see Barry that definitely wouldn't um have happened because I just would have kept 
constantly thinking, oh, I can't, I can't get over 70 in this essay, I can't do this and that. Um, because thinking that you can't do something obviously automatically means that you're probably not going to be able to do it. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, I attribute my my really great mental health state um, to Barry. I attribute being able to take all of the hardships that have happened in the last two years um, the fact that I've been able to take them um, really well, kind of like water off a duck's back. Um, I attribute all that to the Thrive Programme and Barry, I really wouldn't have done it, been able to do, to do it without him. Um, I've recommended him so many times to different friends, family members, um, who are obviously going through similar mental health issues and aren't finding that normal therapy or counselling is helping them at all. Um, I just think it's a much better approach to dealing with mental health issues. It's much more comprehensive and um, I just find that it is way more effective than for me anyway. And I find that if anybody that I've sent to to do the third programme has felt the exact same thing, that it has been like a major light bulb for them that this is the way I'm thinking. It's not helping me at all um, it's holding me back and that's what I need to address I don't need to address you know what happened in the past or what happened to me I really just need to manage my thinking and um, make sure obviously that I've got a good sense of power and control um, and that my coping skills are okay if something does if something bad does happen to me that I'm going to be able to cope with it so yeah, basically, I really attribute my positive mental state to Thrive and to um, working with Barry. And I really recommend it to anybody who is feeling that like they're not getting the best out of life or um, that their mental health is dragging them down because it's really important to um, grab it by the reins and obviously sort it out and basically thrive.